Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be talking about the second part of Naturally Shredded. And this guy name is Ulysses Jr. Uh, basically, he have a, uh, a YouTube channel, a, web, uh, a website more or less, called UlyssesWorld.com. And this guy right here is about the same uh, size as Angel of, but he's about 210 pounds. So he's a little bit bigger than Angel of, but also a little bit shorter. But looking at Ulysses, you can see they're about the same size, they're about the same build. But the amount of detail that Ulysses is able to capture over Angel of is staggering and the body types are completely different now never mind the fact that um ulysses is a dark-skinned guy and angela is a light-skinned guy you can still see the detail on either one if they had it angela just don't have that detail in his body like ulysses does and that's the extra help that steroids give you. If you get, it also give you that that grainy skin, that dry looking skin, to where everything just pop a whole lot more on top of the detail. And that's the advantage that steroid users normally have over a natural person. But with both of these guys, the physiques are definitely manageable to anyone natural. Anyone natural can obtain these type of physiques. Um, which should be with, with no issue if you have the same dedication and drive that these guys have and also real strict diet. You know, you got to, you got to really be on your diet to be able to maintain what these guys have. Now, Remember, you know, steroids help you out, but they don't do the work for you. You still got to get in there and do the work. And that is one reason why no matter what the what the guys are taking, I still have respect for anybody who can get in the gym and, and, and get it done, you know, except they have a little bit of help there. You know, they, they are able to work out longer and they're able to recover a whole lot faster than the natural man. But these two physiques as far as being natural are incredibly possible incredibly possible now if this is what you're looking for this is the type of physique that you would want you can get it you just have to remember that dieting down you're going to get smaller so you naturally have to have muscle there you know, you naturally have to have muscle. You have to already be a person that's uh, genetically larger that would have to downsize to get to where these guys are right here. You know, it, but if you are a smaller guy, that means you have to work your way up to where they are. And it's possible you may not make it that to that size because your genetic potential may not be that big. But you may uh, be able to, to develop that same physique in a smaller form if you are a genetically smaller person. So all of us have to just be grateful for what we are and accept what we are. No matter what these, these nets say uh, on this YouTube crap, you know, it's... You're always going to have negative people, so you, you never really worry about negative people. You do what you do for you, and no matter what nobody else says, you don't worry about that. You'll always notice that the negative people never look any better than you do. But they got all kinds of opinions. They hide behind these uh, uh, fake cartoons, fake pictures, and all of this crap. So you don't worry about that kind of stuff when you're in the gym working out. But the possibilities are there to develop a body that uh, 
you would want and, and could be proud of, no matter what it is. If you want to be a little fluffier and bigger, that's up to you. If you want to be stupid shredded, then that's up to you. Never let nobody tell you what you're supposed to be like. Never let them do that. That's why I don't pay them no attention myself. I like being a little fluffy. That's, that's me. But that's what I want to talk to you all about. Thanks for watching the channel. And again, I'll be talking to you later.